Not all of our traits are controlled by the inheritance of a single gene. Our height, weight, and the color of our eyes and skin are all controlled by more than one gene and are thus referred to as polygenic traits. That eye and skin color are controlled by more than one gene respectively is reflected in the fact that there is such a variety of gradations of eye and skin color. People don't just have blue eyes and brown eyes, but rather there are blue eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes, light brown eyes, brown eyes, black eyes, etc. The same is true for skin color that perhaps has even more variations. Both eye color and skin color are the result of the presence of a pigment called melanin. If melanin production were controlled by one gene and an individual had two recessive alleles and no melanin was produced, they would have light skin. If they had one dominant gene and one recessive, their skin color would be of medium tone. And if they had two dominant alleles, they would be extremely dark. However, we see a much greater variation in skin color than this among individuals. This is the result, biologists believe, of at least three incompletely dominant genes controlling skin color. These combinations among three different genes allow for seven different shades of skin among individuals. Likewise, biologists believe two or three genes control eye color explaining all the various shades of eye color as opposed to just one gene controlling eye color which would result in only three different eye colors so blue, light brown, and brown. But as we know there is a much wider variety of eye color than this. There are also a large percentage of infants who have blue eyes that later become a darker shade such as hazel or brown. And this is probably due to the fact the infants have not started producing melanin in their irises yet.